Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Indie Brew, the only show on the internet dedicated to two of mankind's finest achievements, drinking and gaming. So today we are looking at Lucky Buddha. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but the bottle is really the reason I got it, because it is a really neat bottle. And Endless Legend from Amplitude Studio, these are the guys who also did Endless Space and Dungeon of the Endless. It's part of their ongoing Endless storyline. I'm not exactly sure how it all links up, but it's a 4X game, kind of like Civ or uh, Warlock or any of those kind of games. So we are going to get our pour here and get a smell. I have no idea what to expect from this. This is a Chinese beer. It was brewed at Thousand Island Lake in China, uh, and it's probably the lowest ABV we've been drink we've drank. Nice color. Nice head. This is um, just shy of Four, or just shy of five percent. Apologies. It's got a nice color. It has a strange aroma. I'd almost say skunky. Um, so hopefully that's not a bad sign. But uh, we'll let this head go down. Nice head, I gotta say. And again, the color. If you guys can, I'll bring it up. You guys can see it's got nice, a nice amber color. Uh, so we will get to the gaming in just a second. And we are back. So. We are here at the title screen of Endless Legend. I'm gonna say I like it. Um, I, I'm a big fan of fantasy games, um, so a fantasy 4X game has been something I've I've wanted. There are there are some in the market, um, and I have played them. I really like Endless Dun uh, Endless Space and Dungeon of the Endless, so I thought I'd give this a check. Um, so right off the bat, I, there are some things about the game that I like, and there are some stylistic choices that perhaps <clears throat> I wouldn't have gone with, but I'm not a game designer, so, you know, who knows. Um, the very first thing that I, I kind of have an issue with, and this is my, my biggest problem with this game at na for now, and to, to preface, this is an early access game, so there are features that aren't integrated yet that will be later, but um, introduction, a tutorial campaign, introducing the game basics. Um, I don't know why it's why you wouldn't integrate this to begin with this this to me seems like something i mean i understand it's early access <clears throat> the people who want to buy it are going to be the people who are interested in this sort of thing but it's a new game every 4x game is different especially and they're usually different in, in really stunningly open ways they don't hide the fact that they're different um so not having an introduction right when the game goes live in a game that is, you know, a 4X game, which are notorious for being very difficult to learn and grasp for beginners, it just seems to me kind of out of place. Um, th that being said, I don't find it to be too much of a detriment. Um, the other problem, and I'll talk about that this more when it comes up in the game, but the tooltips aren't very helpful either. Um, the other thing, and this isn't a complaint with the game, it's just something that I thought was really strange. Um, we have four peep, four races right now, um, and the, the one that I have is the Necrophages. I have people that survive by ingesting or converting others as they infect them with their plague. The Necrophages are scavengers and survivors. They would be similar to traditional zombie plagues, infected, undead, etc. Now that's okay, it's the next line that kind of made me go, huh, that's really weird, etc. With a Pirates of the Caribbean kind of feel in that they are quite happy being what they are. I don't know... Why that strikes me as weird, maybe it's that they're just openly referencing another intellectual property. Um, it just, it seems strange and out of place that you would reference a movie series inside a game series that aren't connected at all. Um, but it, it's not a, an issue with the game, it just, as a, on, as, on a stylistic level, that kind of made me go, well that's really strange. Um, we are going to do the Windwalkers though, a faction of creators and builders. These people strive to bind rocks and trees and to create living monuments. This is the one that I've played the most and I really like. Uh, the relationship with dust, which is this overarching thing in the Endless series, um, is intense and dangerous under its influences. They can suddenly explode into berserk rages. And we'll choose our color. I, I imagine there will be more races coming. <clears throat> um, and I'm fairly certain this was in the dungeon of the, uh, in, not dungeon of the endless, apologies, in the endless space game, but you could even make your own faction, so I'm hoping that that will come in as well. So, <clears throat> we will start, loading takes a long time, 
it's cool. I do, I will say, within the shape, continents rose up from the seas. I really like their world, and within those continents, the regions were created. I really like this kind of narrative-driven loading, where it's it's not saying, hey, we're creating trees and rocks. It's create. It's telling you what's going on in the loading phase of the game in a story, and I, I really, really like that. Um, I'm, I'm a big stickler and a big, you know, I like lore, and I, I like little snippets of, of lore like that, so... <coughs> Excuse me, um, you know, that got me all, all happy. So we're gonna try our beer, the loading does take a little while. And I like the loading screen, I think it's really cool. Yeah, it still has this strange, musky aroma. And it has a strange musky taste. Um, so another thing that I, I have a problem with, as you can see, the game's all on hex tiles, but you have to actually open the tab to show the hex tiles to begin with. Um, and I it's it's that's a little strange to me. So we are apparently in a desert. Um, w A S D moves the camera. You can also just move it by you know left clicking and moving everything around um so we have a hero that will walk around kind of like fallen enchantress <clears throat> um that's the best way i'd put this this is fallen enchantress meets civ 5 so if you're not a fan of either of those games then i at least for now i'd say avoid it but i i really like the game i i've done about three hours or so off and on on my save with these guys so i'm, I'm a fan i really like the game um, but I'm a fan of, of 4X games and a fan of, you know, that sort of thing, so it's, it's not breaking the mold is, is basically what I'm trying to convey here. Um, so we have our settler, which will make our first city, and it seems prudent to set him between two rivers. Um, and you can see, you know, by clicking on a hex tile... Um, food, it, uh, there's these gears, and again, this is what, I'm, what I mean by I don't feel that the tooltips really convey a whole lot. I don't know what these symbols mean. Um, but, you know, not really... And, uh, you know, it, again, it's an early access game. Um, I will say I really like the terrain. I think that's re it's really pretty. Um, so I'm going to put it between two rivers because, you know, that seems to be... The best idea. Um, most ancient cities did that. So we will build our city here. And I really like how the cities look. I think that's very visually impressive. So apparently we have um, one of these stars, which is effect. I don't know um, what that means. We get six. I, I imagine this is industrial potential. Okay. So science and this is i believe dust yes that's the currency and food maybe this will tell us the amount of influence generated okay um for some reason i i hadn't seen that so that actually that that's better um so that complaint off the table i don't know why i missed that to begin with um the tool tips are actually a little bit more helpful than i imagined to begin with um so we are going to start off by creating a dakari ranger <clears throat> It will be done in 13 turns, so there, you know, it's it's a turn-based game. I'm I'm more into grand strategy games now, and I'm more into real-time strategy games. Uh, I always have been, but 4X is where I, I got my start um, in in most things, things like Galactic Civilization and stuff. I'm gonna finish. It's got a very light flavor, but there's that that weird. Not quite good. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. Um, I suppose that's too, that's uh, you know, just what happens when you um, drink, get a beer for the glass, not the drink. Um, so we're gonna search this um this ruin here. You can see this glowing point, and we can get quests and things from that, or um, or not find anything at all. Um, so yes, we have a new quest, um, I won't be able to finish it because I won't be able to build a settler, but one of the things that I always have a problem with 4X games is there's never enough things to do. You're always just kind of waiting. Be it, excuse me, um, for 
things to be done building or troop movement, what have you. Um, so I like how and these are going to be plentiful. So if we miss this one, it's no big deal. <clears throat> there will be more. Um, but we won't be able to do it. So um, we will continue walking. And then we'll end our turn. <clears throat> and it, we'll also be able to get research, which I should do, um, which is right here. So it seems that there are tiers, um, and I believe up to the fourth tier is in right now. And there are uh, six tiers in totals. So, um, <clears throat> Again, this is one of those things that I'm not exactly sure <coughs> what I'm doing with. Um... I just kind of feel we're at a disadvantage by not having a tutorial, because this isn't explained very well. I mean, you can kind of glean it if you take the time to read, so it's it's more, do you want to invest the time in, in the game? And I suppose if you're buying a forest game, the answer is yes, because they are time-consuming. Um, so I'm going to go with open pit mine. Um, I would like, you know, resources. So, and then we'll just close this. <clears throat> and uh, we will go from there. Um, here's our new quest. Uh, we should explore the map and find three ruins. And we will do that, because we can actually accomplish that. There are these minor factions. You can integrate them into your city, or you can conquest them. I don't know what that means. Integrating, conquesting them makes sense. You can raise the city, and then you can, um, you know, build, rebuild it. Um, so we finished the open mine pits, um, so we will do seed storage. Oh, we already have that one, because it's blue. Um, we will do dust trigger. Two train with rivers, so that actually will help us a lot. <laughs> See, I, I think about, uh, think about things. Um, so we are looking for ruins. And once our... Archer is finished, we will go and we will attack the NPC faction. Which there are, are numerous ones. And that's how you level up your hero and you know you can you can get really neat stuff, so still unpleasant, as you'd imagine. It didn't get it hasn't gotten better. Um And we're researching very fast. Um Flooding building sites with armies of cheap labor effectively allows construction projects to be quickly completed at no cost. You can quick build, much like Civ. Um, it costs a lot of money. And we got 40 dust. That's awesome. Because, that, again, that's gold, basically. Um, so we are just going to explore. I have never seen, an, I haven't played long enough to see, and there's another NPC faction, I don't know. Um, that's a Kaznagi. And this is Kaznagi. Okay. There we go. It has a very light flavor, like I said. You don't really taste any alcohol. Oh, there's another ruin. Um, and again, I really, really like the um, the map mode. I think this is really pretty. Uh, it was one of the things that attracted me to the game, in fact. Um, so, take that as you will. Um, and we will build another settler. We won't be able to do Manifest Destiny, but, um, you know. <clears throat> That's okay. Um, so we will move our guy here and search. So that will be our second. We found nothing, and that happens sometimes, you know. Can't, not everyone's a winner. And we completed our slave queue, which, you know. Um, finer and more subtle than weapons, accessories made from titanium, glass, steel, and iron require careful handling. So we'll actually be able to use, you know, finer materials. I don't know how long we're going to go. Maybe till, you know, we complete a couple missions. And there we go. And I like how we kind of... Oh, hello. Uh, that is a ruin. That is an... Origa, Orga, I don't know how you pronounce, that's the world that we live in, is Orga. Um, what is this? I have no, I've never seen that symbol before. Oh, 
I believe it's a yep, it's a patrolling enemy. Uh, that's what I thought. Um, so we will go to the ruins and search them, and then we'll attack these Kaznagi villages. Um, oh, uh, that's not exactly what I wanted you to do, but that's okay. So hopefully they'll engage us, and we can show off a fight. Yep, here we go. Um, I will do manual for the first time just to show you guys how fighting goes. So we get these fields. Those are really big. You'd think that they'd be able to beat us, but I'm pretty sure um, we will succeed in kicking the crap out of them because we're ranged. And we will launch our attack. This is why I wanted a couple. Um, who knows how much health... Oh, here's their life. Right here. Uh, and it died fairly swiftly. Um, and then everyone returns, you know, to their their hex. Um, and it's it's just like that. So, awesome. And then, um, yeah, we will come here. And we will again start attacking their villages once my second, my last ranger is done. We'll return to the city and we'll start making a sweep. And we will search and see what we can get. We found nothing, but we did get this. So we got 30 glass steel, which is awesome. And I really like how the quest things go. I really like this this display page, shall we say. Um, so now we are told to build another city, um, which we will be doing. Um, and that's probably the last thing we'll do. Um, before uh, we end this. So I will return to our village. I will pick up our ranger <clears throat> friend. They are going to try to attack. This is the dredge. I've never seen these things before. They're going to attack the city. It looks like. So this is the this is the first as well. We'll see if they, they want to do that. Um, we can do another research. So I will complete this little hex. Um... And um, end our turn. Yep. As you can see, the dredges um, decided to um, end themselves. So, so I will move these guys out here. And there should be one more guy. And this is what I'm talking about. Um, I don't actually know how to move him out of the city. I figured it out in in the, the previous um but I I can't seem to remember how to do that. And it's not the beer because it's basically water. Um Do you want to come out? Okay. We will just end the turn then <clears throat> and maybe we'll be able to move him next turn. Um, here's our settler. We can pay to, to speed it up, which I did. Um, and I guess... What's this? Um, has gained enough experience to reach level 3, so we will uh, level. We'll go to the academy. And, um... Oh, uh, wrong place. Inspect. This is probably what I want to do. So yes, we can level our guy. We have stuff, as you can see. Um, I really like the agile mover. And I also like the far sighted because it helps in combat. So there we go. Um, you have encountered a new minor faction, Sisters of Mercy. Cool. Very cool. And we will leave the academy screen and we'll finish this off. Not unpleasant. I wouldn't buy it again. Luckily, it wasn't all that expensive. Um, so we will end the turn. And there we are, we have our settler um, construction complete. So we will build a sewer system, which will give us a lot of approval, which we want. You want to keep your citizens happy, I'd imagine, in this game. I don't know what happens when they are not happy. Because again, um, no tutorial. And again, that's the biggest sticking point. So. Oh, there we go. There we are. Okay. Um, so we will now go... I figured it out. You just click on it, and then you click on a hex. 
that seems, you know, fairly simple. So we will uh, go and do this Manifest Destiny, and we will um, build our city in a new region. Which Empire Plan available? Because it's 20, turn 20. So we can go for Economy and Populace, Science and Industry, Empire and Expansion, and we can kind of, you know, slowly put points in it. We have only 15, so... Oh, we have 19 influence points. So we will go for Empire and Expansion because I like that sort of thing. Um, and we will stop these little dredges. And we will do manual again just to show off the battle again. So there's only one of them. I really like the little units. I think that's really neat. Um, I don't particularly think that they stand much of a chance. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> and we'll just launch. And they're dead. Oh, they're fleeing. And they're dead. <laughs> I really like combat. I, I think it's a really fun aspect of this. And I would love to see it more in, in um, other games. Um, so we will go and attack the city, and then we will go into this ice realm and uh, build a city. Um, major empire encountered. Finally, it's about time. I've, this is the first time it's ever happened. Um, show location. Here they are. Hello. They also have three Drakari Rangers, and they they actually attacked the city, um, which is a shame. Is now we're not going to be level up. And this is the Jotuns. This is one that I've actually found before. They're kind of like gnolls. I really like the 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 minor factions. Um, it just it gives you something more. Um, and I imagine you can build. I haven't really explored them much again because I really just haven't. Because <laughs> um, I'm bad. Um, we will attack their little their their civilization, and uh, we'll just auto because you know. And we will come here with our settler, and we will build a city on top of their their civilization right here. <clears throat> we succeeded. We got 80 dust. Visions of glory is our reward. You can kind of see our quest journal here. Um, quest updated. Um, awesome. So we will dismiss that. Ready to assimilate. Ah, okay. So if you build a city on top of... This is new. I, I, this is, I'm just figuring these things out for the first time. Um, we can't assimilate them yet. We need 30 influence to assimilate them. So we will do that. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, and we will get a new unit, which is what I figured we'd get. Um, so I think we'll leave it there. I know we've just barely scratched the surface. Um... I wish I could show you more. It is early access. I will return to this game for sure. I really, really like it. As I've said before, I don't do uh, indie brews on, on games I'm not impressed with um, or negative toward. And this is definitely one of those games where I, I really like what I see. I'd really like to jump in more. But again, it's it's that I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm kind of waiting to the, play the tutorial. So once the tutorial comes out, you know... I'll probably do another indie brew because, you know, I like to update and, and come back to them because this is an ongoing series and an ongoing look at games, um, especially when they're in early access because I feel that's the most appropriate thing to do with games that are in early access. So hopefully you guys like what you see. I know, we again, we barely touched the surface of this game. Um, I didn't really go to war with another empire. I just kind of walked around the map and showed off the beginning opening 22 turns of the game. Um, but I, again, I really like it. I like 4X games in, in general. Usually I find them to be a little bit boring and dull, but I don't feel that way about this game. I really like how they, they give you constant quests. They give you constant updates. There's always something to do. There's always something to keep you occupied. And again, I take back that the tooltip wasn't very helpful. It is more helpful than I thought it was. Your mileage may vary on that, but I'm actually really happy to know, um, that sort of thing. So, um... As always, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate the watch, and um, hopefully you guys have 
seen enough to impress yourself with this game. I think it's tops. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.